then after I did it, I realized, oh no, he's probably gonna think I need an ambulance. Good morning. Hi guys. It's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Saturday, Saturday. Okay, we can get around we can get away with singing that because we're the fry life, so Friday. Anyways, all I'm saying is good morning and welcome to our day. Mary's making some lunch. Watch out for that. Yep. Um, Peter finished editing the vlog. I finished editing a video that is already up. We published it when you guys are watching this. It'll be up by then. So, what do you want to tell them about that video? Um, it's a video that I am... You've dreamt up this video for a long time. Yeah, so, it, many of you guys understand this. If you have any sort of illness that requires you to have a doctor or a healthcare person who fights for you, you will know what I'm about to say. I just feel so thankful to have those care providers, whether it's my doctor or a nurse who has been compassionate to me or whatever. And I wanted to say thank you in a video. And so I asked the help of about a dozen people. Um, and so it was fun to work on that video and... She's been working on it for a while and it's it's a special video and if you have a care team uh, that you want to share that video with we invite you to do that because that was the intention of the video to make sure our CF care teams know they're loved. Yeah. Right, time for our ham sandwich. So you take a roll. <laughs> oh my god. First nuts. you take the roll. Here's a bug. Oh man. How did that even get there? Maybe it was in the toaster oven. Ew. <laughs> Anyways, Mary's making a ham sandwich. We're gonna make coconut curry chicken for dinner. So I have to tell them how to make the best sandwich ever. Okay. So you take a roll. Uh-huh. And then you put cheese on it. Okay. And you toast, toast it. it. Open face turkey sandwich. Toast it. Mm-hmm. Then you take it out. And if you like mayonnaise, you put some mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. And then... Oh, you splatter the mayonnaise across the happen? room. It must have been on the... <laughs> okay. Then you put some ham or whatever your preference is. Okay. And that's it. And fold it up and eat it up? Yeah. I put hot peppers on mine. Oh, yeah. It's delish. Opening a can with Mary, 101. What? Parrot. Come really close to this. <laughs> right here. Like a parrot's beak? Yeah, watch. That was very interesting, honey. Great observation. Alright, so we are gonna put the coconut milk in. It's gonna be cool, ready? Okay, I'm ready. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah. That's amazing that that's from coconut. It's actually from a can. <laughs> I put the curry paste in and I'm just gonna stir it up. Should we put any more spices in there? Oh, should we put some garlic? Salt and pepper. Okay, should I chop up the garlic? Some peanut butter, some garlic, and next, some brown sugar. Did, did I just say peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then some salt, pepper, and some curry powder. And then we'll stir it. <laughs> <laughs> Put the lid on for the video. The coconut milk is seriously so cool. We've turned it on high and it's ready to cook. How many hours do you think? I think like maybe like five hours. Cool. Okay, it's the next vlog clip and it's been, I don't know, an hour or two, but I'm still standing in the same place. But I didn't stand here the whole time. My neighbor just gave me fresh produce from their real garden unlike my garden, where I grow one green bean a day. 
biggest green bean of my life. Thank you so much. I'm saying thank you to my neighbors. Thank you. Zucchini, summer squash, cucumber, and green beans. This is amazing. When she texted me and asked if I wanted anything, I was like, that's awesome, yes, thank you. I can, <laughs> I can give you one purple green bean in exchange. Sad garden. It's not a sad garden, it's just a tiny garden. Ah, a green bean bouquet. It's beautiful. Look who's home. I went out, did you tell him I went out? I got some Oh, work. I don't know. I don't know, I went out and got some work done. What'd I had do? a girl's night. Look at you. I had a couple of friends over. Fun. And now, let's... Check out our dinner. I started the rice when I got home. And so I'm pretty hungry and it smells super good in here. The rice just finished. And then some chicken on top. I don't see any carrots. Maybe I should have put more in. Maybe they're just all congregating. There's a carrot convention at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we use the word convention a lot. <laughs> more than a normal person. If there's ever like more than there's supposed to be of something, it's a convention. <laughs> The classic one is... So we're having like a peach convention over here in the corner. <laughs> not <pretty big. laughs> right there. I mean, I guess that's not that many, but... We're having a produce convention. Yes, this is a produce convention. Oh look, you found some... You broke into the convention even though you didn't have a permit. <laughs> okay, you got the carrots. Your metaphor just went way too far. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have a permit. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome to our Friday nights. Should we do a taste test? Yes. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That goes down all right. Peter was... <coughs> Peter was just about to tell me about the scar on his foot. I had never heard the story of when he got the scar. As he started, it sounded pretty epic. So I said, can we get the camera for this? And the way my story started was my grandmother's exercise bike. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Well, she had this exercise bike back in like the guest bedroom. And so I would sit on it and like pedal on it. And I don't know how old I was, but I sat on it and like try to pedal. It was like one of those that's got like a resistant and some knob on it. And like, so I turned up the resistance and tried to pedal real hard. Yeah. And I did, I got it going really fast. Oh no. And then my, I was pedaling so hard, my foot slipped off the pedal and the pedal was, had so much momentum, it came back around and just took off a chunk out of my foot, like literally dug out this big divot. Oh, that's the worst. Anyways, so. So yeah. he has a scar. So that's my scar and I'm sticking to so it. So tell me, can you hold the camera since my arm's gonna fall okay. off? Remember, did you scream? How old I did you say you were? I don't remember. I think it was probably like 12 Do you 12, need to use a phone a friend for this story? No, because I don't think any, it was just, I was at my grandmother's house staying with her. Oh, it was just the two, like, just yeah. the two of you there? Yeah. Those were the best. Like, I think a couple weeks of my life, like, I'd go stay with my grandmother. Like, okay, so my grandmother lived, like, three hours away, and we'd always go as a family. But then I just remember this one time, I, like, went down just me and stayed with her. And you mentioned staying with her and how much fun you had. Oh, a yeah. A couple weeks ago we were talking about it. And my grandmother, she always tells the story. Oh, well. <laughs> oh. She used to tell the story when she was alive, and she would tell the story about how when I was staying with her, she she told me I could request whatever I wanted for dinner, and I, I requested fried oysters with candlelight dinner. Oh, that's so cute! So she made it, fried oysters and candlelight dinner. That's so cute. Now and, your arm's yeah. gonna fall off. So. That is so cute, babe. Yeah, I know. I, I love know. that. That exercise bike, though. Oh, that exercise bike. Are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> Another story was coming. Well, this is like a scary story. A scary story? Yeah, okay, so my little brother was a baby and... We're um, gonna wash our feet. That's why we're going in here. <laughs> 
Come take a shower with me. Okay, so basically, we were staying with my grandmother, my little brother and I, and I was going to take Joe on a walk. And it's like, it's like a quiet neighborhood, right? You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Super, so, like, cute and safe. Yeah. So I thought I'd just go around the block. I mean, not a block, but around the neighborhood. And this... Now, I've got nothing against station wagons, but this station wagon was sketchy. I have never heard this story. I know. I don't know that I've ever heard, told anyone this story. And now you're telling yes. 138,000 people? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm walking. I'm like... Does your mom know this story? I don't... I don't know. So mom... <gasps> Family secrets! She's gonna find out watching this vlog. So, the station wagon drives by... But one question, sorry. Yeah. Did the station wagon have the fake wood paneling? Well, that's a really good question because that would make the story even better, but I don't remember. Okay. That's but okay. as a nine-year-old, this guy looks scary to me. And he drives by us very slow. Oh. And he goes to the end of the street and stops. And I, at that point, like, I didn't think anything of it. I'm just taking the walk. But he turns around and comes back down the street. Ah. Uh. Yeah. He does it like three or four times. Oh my gosh. Yes. It was so scary. And I, my heart was beating so fast. I'm a nine-year-old big brother taking my brother on a walk. And so the next time he drove by to go down, like past us to the end of the street, I threw the stroller, picked up my brother, and ran home. Peter. Yeah. I was so scared. Well, what'd you do with the stroller? <laughs> I should guess I went back and got it. I don't remember. You poor thing. I was so scared. This afternoon, my temps started to go up, but I didn't end up feeling as like feverish as I have the last, like a couple days ago when I started feeling feverish. So that was really, that was a good, good sign. Um, sometimes when your body gets into that decline there's no going back but other times you'll just hit a couple of weird days where your body has a fever or something like that so i'm still not sure whether this is kind of the you know just further progression of the cycle of infection or if it was just a weird couple of days only time will tell but for today my head didn't hurt and i wasn't quite as feverish Really good. You know it's not a good sign when you text your husband a picture of the, uh, what is that called? Ambulance emoji. I was finishing some details for that video that I was talking about uploading. I was finishing like typing in the title and that sort of thing and I was getting the emoji pictures for the title and I needed an ambulance and a thumbs up. So I texted it to him but really I just needed to like open it up on my computer or whatever. And then after I did it, I realized, oh no, he's probably gonna think I need an ambulance. And he came upstairs and I was like, sorry, I actually was just working on the video. And he was like, well, I figured if there was a thumbs up in there, plus you were using emojis, it probably didn't mean you actually needed an ambulance. I guess it's a risk of of the job we do, texting each other pictures of the ambulance emojis and stuff. Okay, this is kind of random. Uh, I was watching the, uh, the hospital I go to has a, an Instagram account and they had an Instagram video about how to set up home feeding supply stuff. And I was just watching because, whatever, I was watching it. Not because I don't know how to do it, but because I was just watching it. But I did learn, and you guys have probably said this before, but apparently it's never clicked in my brain. The reason, so when I set up my feeding tube stuff, there's a way to prime the line with just like pressing this little thing. But Peter and I have never gotten it to work. So last night when I was watching that video, the key is, take the clear plastic cap off. Yep, that's the key. Although to prime my Relizorb, this cartridge thing, I have to use the 
machine anyway to prime, so I've always just thought, mine's will just prime with the machine since I have to use it anyway. <coughs> Medical, are you laughing at me? Yeah. <laughs> Medical nerds unite! Tonight, I'm trying out a new accessory. What? Well, not a new accessory. A Mickey extension instead of a mini one. Oh, nice. So I've got a mini button with a mini, a uh, mini... Mickey extension. Or, mini button with a Mickey, Mickey extension. extension. And it has nothing to do with the Disney character. Wait, I know, which is Disney? so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Disney. Yeah. So, which is so disappointing. I know. It's supposed to be Minnie and Mickey, but... It's so weird though. No, seriously, before you got a feeding tube, I I had always heard the term Mickey button and always imagined that the little cap on it had a Mickey Mouse on it. Isn't that like... I'm so sorry for the disappointment. We're gonna get to bed. And... <laughs> Thanks as, for watching. As... As we always say... As, as always, always, we, we will, will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.